What's going on, guys? Um, there is a YouTube content creator called Klaus. Klaus, really cool, cool guy, Canadian. And uh, I love watching his YouTube uh, uh, content. And he recently has been doing this expose on bot programs and, and, and people buying their uh, 279Es and all these other rare tanks and water tanks. And he wants Wargaming to step up to the plate and do something about it. Well, unfortunately, Klaus, there's a huge problem with that. And that problem is Wargaming is actually helping them do this. And I know some of you are thinking, wait a minute, how, how can you accuse Wargaming of doing this? It's in their launcher. Follow the mouse. Games. Oh, let me check this over a little bit. Okay, so game settings. Install additional game instance. Click it. Oh, look. I can install a second copy of World of Tanks. And there is nothing stopping me. It's only just under 20 gigabytes. So if I have a 500 gig hard, uh, a 500 gigabyte hard drive, do the math. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 82. So for 200 gigabytes, there's your 10 players per PC. How cheap is it to buy a PC used on Facebook or eBay? Buy said cheap 500 gigabyte SSD. Slam it in. Rinse and repeat. So, Klaus, I understand that you are asking Wargaming to to step up and 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 kibosh this. They're fucking helping them, dude. Think about it. This has been a problem for how many patches now? For how many? updates now how long has this been a problem it's only recently coming to light even more prominence because of streamers like yourself me and a few others saying yo what the hell man come on and this isn't just in the u now bear in mind i'm i'm english i'm in england but i play on the north american server okay here i'll even log in i play on the north american server i do have an eu account but i've done nothing with it it literally, I still got just starting tanks and the free tanks you get for the anniversaries. That's it. I log in, collect, log out. That's all I do. I, I, yeah, it's in windowed mode because this is a fresh installation. This whole operating system is a fresh installation. But I wanted to prove to you, Klaus, that Wargaming are actually helping them. Okay? Because think about it. It's not that hard. They, Wargaming have purposely left World of Tanks to be a single core game. What that means is it only ever accesses one core of your CPU. So if you've got a quad core, that's four instances of the game that you can run. Well, by today's modern standards that have 12, 16, 24, I've seen some CPUs have up to 64 cores. Are you starting to catch on here? So they associate one core, even if it's a hyper-threaded core, they associate a core to it, then download the client, it's under, two, it's under 20 gigs, da 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 Or, if they're truly smart, if they're truly smart, what they would do is they will run it in a VM. Or they will see, like I said, brand new instance is asking me for to be put through my firewall and everything else and whatnot. But long story short, okay, Wargaming are actually helping the bots. One, by permanently locking the game to being a single core only game. In fact, you have to use a modified config file, okay, that you can get from Aslan's mod pack. Okay, that it, and it even says experimental may cause your game to crash, and it does a lot, but it does speed up the game immensely like load screens, you name it, a whole bunch of other stuff. 
Okay, well apparently I've got rewards to collect. Not that I care because all of these are shite. Got this one. Don't want the Britain Panther. And I don't want Tiger One Three One is the only Tiger I don't want. Um, you want me to select a reward? Okay, for one token when you can't get anything for one token in the shop. Again, wargaming, fix that shit. Another thing, wargaming. If I wanted to hear music, okay, I would play my own. Thank you very much. Um, music in battle, music in garage. Goodbye. So back to game. So long story short, the game itself is. <sighs> What's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, the game itself is rigged, pretty much. Um, you've said it yourself. You've proven it yourself. The amount of um, uh, the amount of, of uh, uh, RNG and how it doesn't work out. I mean, you can stand there stationary, not move, shoot, 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 and guaranteed all three shots are never going to go in the exact same direction. Like one will be here, one will be up at three, uh, at two o'clock high, one will be over at freaking eleven o'clock low, which makes no fucking sense. By even World War Two tank, tank standards, that makes no sense. Modern tanks. So, if we if we're gonna look at modern tanks, okay, let, let's take a look at something like the Chieftain P. Would not happen in something like the Chieftain P. Would not happen in something like the AE Phase One. Wouldn't just wouldn't happen. It wouldn't happen. One modernized rifling of the barrel, modernized muzzle brakes, modernized breeches, modernized firing control systems. It would not happen. Okay, it, it, it's not like you're cramming a a. Uh, uh, it, it, it's not like you're cramming. Uh, it, it's not freaking old school smooth bore cannons on a freaking three mast flagship from black flag okay i'm sorry but it's not these are modern tanks i mean even the sherman okay even the sherman for its time okay had amazing accuracy granted it couldn't do a follow-up shot because it kicked up too much dust and etc etc but the point was its on-shot performance was amazing. Okay, now let's take a look at something like the T-34. This is Cold War, okay? This 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 is 60s. This is 50s, 60s. This is Korean-Vietnam Cold War era, okay? The fact that the, the Type 29... Where's, where's my Type 29? Where's my T-29? Oh, these are all my premium tanks. One second. Okay. America... Where's my T-29? Where's my bubbler? Bubbler, where are ya? Where's my baby? Where's my bubbler? Where are you hiding? Girl, you're, you're making me having to do this, aren't you? You're making me having to find you. There she is. Alright, see these little ears? They're not there for fun. They're range finders. To help triangulate the shot. You know, to keep it on par. So the fact that the shot will go hit... Wildly miss, wildly miss, wildly miss, barely hit, and the tank hasn't moved, the turret hasn't moved, the target hasn't moved, all the shell velocity is the same, because they're all built to a standard, unlike Soviet ammo, I might add, fight me, because it's a known fact that Soviet ammo is shit. Ex-British Army, don't fucking try it. I have fired full automatic AK-47s. And yes, they can jam. And yes, they do jam. Why? Shit fucking ammo. Anyway, apart from that, apart from that, let's take a look at some more modern tanks. Okay, this is technically modern, the M103. Now, this is Korean War. This is Vietnam. Okay? This would take on the T-54. This would have seen Type 59s. This would have seen a, 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 a lot of shitty fucking Soviet tanks. Now, there are some Soviet tanks that aren't shitty. Bear in mind, I'm I'm not I'm not anti I'm not anti hammer and sickle. Okay, I have a few Soviet tanks as you can see. 
I've got a KV85. I like it. It's fun. Got, got the, got, got, got my, my, my KV2. I've got a KV1SA. I've got an IS2 shielded. I've got an IS6. I take them out. I use them. They are fun tanks. They are fun to play. However, however, the flat out biased of, 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 of everything in its own right is what does my head in. So you've got to understand when I say this, when I say this to you, Klaus, okay? It's unequivocally, on the technical side of the game, the main launcher allows you to install multiple clients. The fact that the game itself only uses one logical core. Technically, you could run this game on a Celeron D, yeah, and a brand new Epic Ryzen, and they're still going to perform the same. Why? Because the game itself only uses one physical core. One. So, hardware-wise, it's in the botter's favor. Favor. Software-wise, it's in the botter's, botter's favor. Favor. Plus the fact that Wargaming gets kickbacks. Okay? It gets kickbacks from the botters. Ask yourself how. for Just for a second, then I'll tell you. They buy accounts. You can buy the, you can buy accounts right now on eBay. Just type in World of Tanks account, and you'll find accounts that are, are 10, 12, 13 years old for sale. That have all these multiple tier 10 tanks for sale. Heck is this? Oh go away! I don't know what time to deal with that shit. Plus, the UI is so slow and laggy, it's not even funny. And this is a fresh install. And look, how, there's no mods. So look how slow and laggy that... And this is on a fucking 3060. This is not on no, no tiny little freaking NVIDIA 710. Alright? This is on a fucking 3060 with 12 gigs of RAM. Okay? In a machine that has 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM. On an M.2 drive. On a liquid cooled Ryzen... So trust me, my rig is the shit. Your game is just crap. So there you go, Klaus. Look at the launcher for yourself to prove I'm not. I don't have a modified launcher or anything. Just pop launcher yourself. You'll find it. Okay, here. I'll show you one more time. This is how you find it. Now I've got to wait 20 years for this to close. It takes forever to open, forever to close. Why? Single core. Okay, so we're going to go to our launcher again. Just da 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 da, da regular, see the list of games. Click on World of Tanks, you're going to get game settings. Click it. It's right there. Install additional game instance. Ask yourself, why would someone else need to install an additional game instance? It's not going to ask you what area, like Asia, America, Europe, Russia... It's just going to reinstall a second exact copy of the client that's already installed. So if you've installed North America, you, if you, NA, like I have, Water Tanks NA, it's just going to put a second copy of Water Tanks NA in there. Why do you need two copies of the same goddamn game? Wargaming is in on it. This is why they haven't banned botters. And the botters that they do ban are idiots that go to some sort of like www.worldoftanksbots.com where, where, where it, it, it's a publicly found bot that everyone knows or they've gone to chat GPT and told it. Please code me World of Tanks bot. I am a fucking moron. Because they don't understand the premise of Hide your weak spots. Shoot at other tanks' weak spots. That's it. But that aside, all of that aside, what the tanks is in on it. I've just proved it to you. So I'm sorry, Klaus. I love you. I love your content that you make. Your content is cherry. But what world of tanks is in on it? 
they get kickbacks from players buying premium tanks, buying premium time, but, but, and all that fun stuff. They know because they can sit, do a simple multi-instance check on their IP login in, ingress server. It's not hard. I'm 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 not even joking. I'm I'm learning cybersecurity as we speak. Okay, I'm a first year cybersecurity specialist. Okay, I'm still getting to grips with certain things, but even I know the difference between a clean login and a multi instance login, especially when they've all got the same fucking IP range. And you can easily do an IP range check. It's just, it's just a simple additional login. You can even do it with a bash script. Or even an SQL call, call, call script. And I don't even truly know SQL like I used to. Because a lot's changed since I was doing stuff with server files and whatnot. But a lot, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. If a, if a free email like Gmail, or God forbid Yahoo, or Hotmail can set up an anti uh, an anti email bomb where they look and it's like okay this person's receiving 8000 emails in a second we're going to trickle that down <laughs> so you get an, a new email every 5 minutes instead of every 5 seconds so it's a basic email bomb okay we'll take that if free companies like that can do stuff like that and, and check for ip ranges where they're like oh all these emails are coming from the same same uh, uh, ip range We'll just block that IP range. No more emails. Simple little way around that. You can do the same thing, Wargaming. Whoever is in your IT department, fire them. And Klaus, this is for you, mate. Keep up your content. I love it. I really love your content. But I'm telling you now, it's fruitless. Wargaming is in on it. And if they're not in on it, why haven't they done anything about it? Ask yourself that. If they realize that this is such a huge problem, that this is technically match rigging, and it is, because there are some people out there that take their their, their 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 water tank seasons very, very, very seriously. I'm a casual player, okay? For, for, foremost, I have a clan, but I'm a casual player, okay? But I have some clan mates who are hardcore and go at it hardcore. You yourself have even noticed that there are clans that are doing it. Clans. That are doing it, Klaus. And they're doing it knowing that Wargaming is not going to come back at them with any kind of repercussion. Anyway, Klaus. Have fun. Guys, stay safe. Have fun. Keep your shows flying. Keep your enemies dying. Cover Commanders out. And I'll see you in the next video.